Rise and Pisces. How are you doing this lovely morning? Today is Lulu's birthday. It's Mommy's Girl's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lulu. Happy birthday to you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so, so, so much. I love you so much. May God give you many, many, many more years. Many more years, Lulu. I love you, girl. All right. Oops. What these scissors doing in here? All right, now y'all already know how I get down with Lulu. And if y'all go back, y'all will remember her when she was a baby, baby, baby. But that's my girl. That's my girl right there. Yes, it is. I want to send out a special shout out to Jennifer from Familiar Witches Tarot. And I want y'all all to know that her daughter has opened up a YouTube, or probably already have. She also reads tarots. She will be sending me all her information of her daughter so that I can link it up and um, y'all can go watch it. She's real good. Um, when uh, Jennifer was in the hospital, her daughter took over. Okay? So, also, Pisces, I do want y'all to send hearts, green hearts for Jennifer, please. Um, that's my sister. I love her to death. And um, I may not mention her often on my YouTube, but she knows that I love her to death. And um, I admire her. I think she is one of the greatest tarot readers out there. Um, so please send her green hearts. And I'm saying it, send her green hearts with love, okay? With love. Send me white hearts. <laughs> me and Jennifer's are like this. She she has two hearts and it's me and her. Jennifer, I love you. And I will be sending you your soul out today and giving you a call. Also, um, Felicia, sending you love, girl. Lisa, love. All right, I haven't forgot about you doing a lot. You know, I'm getting ready to do something, so that's why I'm really on the go-go. But I'm sending all my, every one of my um, family on my YouTube love, honey. Y'all reach out to me every day. Say hello. I went through a lot yesterday because, um, my uh, banking account, I had to do the whole, everything. It took like two hours to do all of that. So God does things for a reason. That's all. Um, it could have been worse, but it wasn't. So thank you, Jesus. He always watches over all of us. I want to just say for all those who go onto my webpage, know that I, I, I live in the light. I don't do no dark magic, no dark work. I am very spiritual. I work well with candles, salt, herbs. That is my specialty. I can speak to the people cross on the other side. And I thank God that I can hear him and my archangels and whatever he tell me to do, I do. Now, Pisces, I don't know and I keep telling y'all, whatever dream that y'all having, Take notes of it. Realize what it's telling you. Because it's telling you something. Now I'm going to be honest with you. The dreams that I have about people that was connected to me. Baby, them dreams are done far and over with. Because I don't give a damn. Okay? I wake up and be like, okay, oh well. Because it ain't nothing popping off. And I wish them all the best. Everybody the best, all right? So listen to your dreams, Pisces, 
Pay attention to your dreams. They're telling you something. And from here to the 17th, there's a lot that's going to go down, Pisces. It's that new moon. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's the full moon. And we are definitely going to be going through a lot. And it's telling you to take care of your health. All right? Make sure you 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 sit there and you really nurture your body. And if it's something that you love and it's not good for you, let it go. All right? Let it go. And trust me, it, whatever it is, I don't care what it is. It will nurture itself. God got a way of nurturing all things. Humans, animals, and all. Let it go. Right? You have to live your life and you need to live it to the fullest. Let it go and nurture itself. It will nurture itself. You cannot save the world. It will nurture itself. Focus on yourself because you're going to need to focus on yourself. All right? A lot of, you know, focus. All right? Now, the devil is upside down on this on this car. And I don't really do that upside down. When I read, I read up and down. Okay? But whatever it is that is within you or around you, is 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 it doesn't have a hold on you. It cannot hurt you. It cannot do nothing else to you. All right? You're like free from this nonsense. Another thing is, you may feel a lot of pain in your heart or feeling like you, you know, you you, you just go through something. And I'm going to say something to y'all, Pisces. I go through so much emotion when it comes to my heart. And I don't know. I always say I feel like, you know, I'm passing away and Whenever I go through that Pisces, it's because someone around me that is very close to me is going through something, okay? It's going through something, and God always brings that to me so that I can be aware. Now, who is going through something, I don't know, but normally, God brings me that person, and he tells me who it is, so I make phone calls because I need to let you know that whatever's going on, whatever message I'm getting from the Spirit, is leading me to let you know something. And I do make the phone call and I do talk to you and I do let you know how I feel. Okay? So whatever it is that God is telling me to do for you, for individual, I make sure I get with you and everybody knows that. When I love, I love unconditionally. All right? I don't play with my family of my Pisces. And I do have a family of a Pisces. Um, I got more family of a Pisces than I have of my own blood family. All right? So whenever God brings me to you, it's for a reason. And I do make phone calls. And it weighs on my heart. So I got to get with you. I got to tell you what it says. All right? All right, now. So like I was saying, I don't work no black magic, but you need to know. When I feel it, when I feel something in my heart, and I'm thinking, I'm dreaming, I can't stop, it's all over me, I get with you. Because it's something that is not right with you, and I need to tell you. All right? Or I need to touch you. Or I need to do something for you. All right? I am a messenger. I am a messenger to the day I die. Tarot is not the main part of my life. I work for the universe, and I'm a messenger. Okay? If anyone comes into my online store, all right, and a lot of readers um, are really, you can see that a lot of readers are not like they used to be on a channel, all right, and it's because we're going through a major transformation, and some of us are going in different passes, or um, are, are literally going through something in our lives, right? So it's taking us to a different place, all right. But that doesn't mean that we are not here with you, all right. And I'm saying that about a lot of our readers. We're not like we used to be. How they say there's doors to open up for new readers to come on in. 
All right. And I welcome all of them. The Black Magic Spellbreaker is exactly what it is. It is here to break all things that is not for you and it's against you. Okay. And whatever it is that cannot connect with your energy and doing whatever they do or think whatever they think or bring that negative energy towards you, this is the candle for that. You see that I don't play. I'm into my candles. I make my own candles. All right. I know I master my wax and everything that goes in it. It took me a long time, but I got it. The green candle is for your health, your wealth, your prosperity, abundance, grow, fertility, and nurture. Things that you give birth to, but most of all, your heart, your mind, your soul, body, mind, and soul. All right? To love yourself, can't nobody love you like you. And once you get that together, everything falls into place. We all have somebody that cares about us. Each and every one of us. And I'm not lying about that. I don't care if it's a best friend. I don't care if it's a man. For Pisces, a male friend that you're close to, even though you don't do nothing with that person, you're very close to that person. And you might as well say that person is like your soul, your, your soul. I ain't going to say soulmate to a thing. Your soul that loves you. And you can pick up that phone. You can call me there. Okay? The justice candle is just for that. Anything that you fight it. All right? The Palo Santo and the sage. Make sure that you save your house. You open up your windows and let it out. The red brick dust is to put around your doorways or around your house. Or um, anything is in, inside of you that you feel like it needs to be aired out. But it's very important to put in front of your doorways. The walnut bath is to work on your shadow side, okay? Oils come in oil form and also in dry form. The seven chakras are very important in your life and also stones. Stones and chakra play a major part of your body. And if you don't know your chakra, Pisces, you are the red. You are the bottom. All right, the top chakra, all right, the very top chakra, it is the pink chakra. You go pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Then they play a part of every side, all right? What I am known for, it is my salt. Uh, spiritual detox salt bath. If you don't know nothing about it, people have used it and, and ordered it, whatever. Make sure that you leave remarks on it because I got the best salt it is in the world. And I say in the world, okay? I don't play with my when it comes to my products, all right? Herbs in a bag is good for you if you like to take a bath like that. It's just light salt, but only thing is it, I, it's no perfume in it. There's no oils in it, okay? What I do make, it is my evil eye bracelets, and these are made by me. And I also have now my, I have I put the chakra on there. I made one with the chakra because for some reason, my chakra one popped. And after that one did, so did my ankle. And I don't play that shit. I went immediately and put it back on. So whatever it is that... You know, shackle broken off of me. Thank you, Jesus. But I need to repair myself and bring all of it together. And thank you, whatever it was that was broken off of me, or whatever it was that they were trying to do to me, it was it's completely gone. All right. So Pisces, we're doing dance saying that. Let me get started with the reading. Again, sending a shout out to my sister. Jennifer from Familiar Witches Tarot. I love you, girl, and you know I do. I do, I do, I do. All right, that's my baby. Um, you know she has tried to attempt to come visit me. Um, but she gets things to do. She had was in a hospital, so my doors is open for you, Jennifer. At any given time you want to come and check me out, you are more than welcome to stay. At my home. All right. Sending shout outs and love to her cats. And she loves cats. All right. Here we go. I'm trying to make my readings not so long. But here we go. 
Art Michael Jordan Art, please allow me woo, to do a reading. The Ace of Swords is something needs to be cut off. All right. Somebody got their swords down, which means let's talk, let's communicate. It's the beginning of something, but something needs to be done. Swords are sharp. Swords hurt. All right. Nobody's going to tell you that swords don't hurt you. Yes, they do. You can cut off of anything and everything with a sword. But this sword is down. All right. Also, it has the blue in it. Talking. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's communicate. What it is, we need to talk. Let's bury the swords. Let's, let's get some out of the system. Let's get some out of our head. There's something needs to be said. It might have been somebody that you broke up with, that you're not with. It's something that, that needs to be put out on the table. All right? Something here needs to be said. And it's all in the head. It's somebody that stays in their mind with this. I don't know. Breakups. Separation. Communication. But whatever it is, it needs to be clear. Okay? All right? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. And someone is sitting here feeling like they keep going through all the negativity things that they've been through. They keep thinking of all the shit that, that has happened. All right? Um, rather than to say, whatever happens, happen, and you learn from this Sharp cutting communication split up, right? You learn from it, you move on from it, but sometimes we don't know how to move from it. If there's something here that you're giving a cup to, but or you 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 reaching to give it to somebody, the Queen of Cups, but Pisces, you're not. It's I don't see the person as of yet. I don't see that person. But I do see that somebody here feels bad the way they treated you. This person thinks about how they treated you, what they did to you, right? This person may think that there ain't no coming back, right? Like you moved on, like you giving your cups to someone else, or you just moving on from, from all what you've been through in your life, right? Whatever it is you've been through, you saying, I'll leave that where it's at. I'm moving on. There ain't no need for me to sit here and, and, and go through it. All right? And it shows red. So it is you, Pisces. It's showing you. Like, whatever it was that felt bad, that hurt, that hurt, honey, that you couldn't even, maybe you never closed the doors. Maybe you never finished what needed to be said. But somebody here knows that whatever they did, they reminiscing about what they did because they know that you're moving on. They know that you are ready to start a new life. And Pisces, I swear to you, I don't think you think about no damn nobody. I think you think about your life, your career. If, if whatever, whoever people think where we are at, Pisces, we definitely think about our career. If love comes, love comes. But everybody in the world, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. You have a friend. You have someone that's there. You have someone that you can talk to that will be there that you allow in your house to stay in your house if you need it. Everyone in the world has that one person. It don't mean that you got to screw it. It don't mean that you go to bed with it. It don't mean that you got a relationship. It means that that person, you can count on that person. All right? Everybody in the world has that one person they can talk to. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. But whatever is going on, Pisces, this person is so upset that you ain't, it's like you're not thinking about this person. They ain't the man, Pisces. You're very enlightened. You're giving your cups, but as you're moving on, 
right? You're thinking this is this is pretty major, Pisces, because you may be stuck in a situation. I shouldn't say stuck, but you sitting there feeling like it's a light bulb that says, I'm not hanging upside down. Honey, I know what I want. I know where to go. I know that whatever it is that's coming, it's got to be right. And I'm going to say it again. Whatever it is that you're giving your cups to, or you want to give it to, it's going to be right. It ain't going to be like you had it before, because you've been doing some work on yourself. You know what you want. You know what you want. It's like somebody here is going to be heartbroken. Somebody that you leaving behind is going through it. Pisces, this is deep. You may be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, or you may be dealing with a Pisces Scorpio Cancer. But whatever it is, the universe is bearing eye on this big old, big old, big old, big old, big old cup that they're giving you. The universe is offering you a major, major cup. Major cup. And you're going to have to sit there and decide, you know, this is what I, uh, I, when I mean a major, very close to you. Very close to your heart. Something that you love, got a love for. All right, the universe is giving it to you with a lot of love. So much love that it's overfloating. Okay. I'm going to say something to you Pisces. Yesterday. Yesterday. Um, there was a fire truck. With the lights on. I'm going to say something to you. When anyone. Anything come down my street. You will know. Because I live on a dead end. All right. It ain't no mistake that you coming by my house. If you coming by my street or my street, you coming for a reason. All right? Or you making a U-turn to get your ass up out of here. But I seen them silence. I seen it red. It made a U-turn. Yesterday's reading, it said, do not go by that. Because that is saying, don't go through that. It's warning you. Right? So I don't know why I'm saying that. Right? I don't know why I'm saying that. But whatever it is that you're going to be thinking or you thinking about but you got a better offer coming, you need to think about it. Because if you know what it is, if you know what it is and you know how it is, it's a warning. That's all I'm going to say. Now, Somebody here cut you to your to your chest, to your chest, to your core, and they feeling bad they did it, and they want, they see that you giving it, or you about to give it to somebody, or you letting them know that you moving on, you letting them know it, you ain't, you ain't hiding it, you ain't, you just saying I'm done, and I'm moving on, now moving on is I'm moving on for you and it's better things. It don't mean that you think about moving on to another person. It means that you're moving on any which way direction you're going. You're out of whatever it is. But for sure, for sure, for sure, you're out of where you was. And that is a for sure, for sure, for sure thing. But what you are coming into and what is was, it's like this person that was want to make a major transformation. And that's some crazy shit. How does somebody want to make a major transformation when all along they've been fucked up? They never knew what they had. They never knew how to treat you. Never. And how would you think about giving a person a chance when that person may come in your life for a day and change for one day and back to themselves? When you're saying, I ain't thinking about you, and that's some real shit. I'm not thinking about you at all. Not even at all. Do you understand? Not even in a way where I want a relationship with you. No, it ain't that type of shit. But for sure, you got new shit coming your way. And whatever you got that's coming your way, you got somebody that wants to play this sorry game. I love you. Please. You all it, it, and I don't know because I don't get no I'm sorry. I love you. These people know not to fuck with me. These people know that I'm a hardcore bitch. Okay? Now don't come back. I'm sorry. I love you. They better not. Because you are sorry that you did what you did, and you and love you love your damn self. You don't you don't love me. You love yourself. And for how long I let you get away with it? You got away with it. 
But it ain't no getting away with it no more because I'm damn sure looking at the future and whatever God is bringing, God is bringing in abundance. And whatever I had is in the trash. I shredded that shit. I ain't think about that shit. It's not that I, I just don't believe in it. I can't keep, you cannot keep giving your heart to somebody, putting your heart in their hand when you know how they navigate your damn yourself they don't even they not they're not even worried about it until they see that you are moving on and it, it's other things out there somebody said to me if I don't if I don't call you if I don't text you I don't think about you and yeah and I know for a fact they don't think about me thank you Jesus if I had a drink I toasted that bitch at five in the morning tell me more about this ace of sword yeah it hurts now it really do all right, so the page of cups, the ace of swords, this could have been news of something, somebody checking, looking at your pictures, reminiscing, somebody may be younger than you, right, they think about you, they think how they want this to be, how they wanted it to be, they reminisce, they may be very childish, I, this person can also be waiting for you to come around, right, all right, or this can also mean that there was an ending, there was a split up, this communication was messed up when it comes to this person, very childish, um, wanting to, um, to, this is like bringing you some type of news, taking action, they, they, they want to, Bring you the news, honey, coming into a new path, checking you out. It may be somebody new. It may be somebody thinking about you. Maybe somebody you don't know, right? Um, maybe somebody you cut off, whatever it is, communication with, right? Maybe it's a new thing, you know what I mean? But it's looking at your pictures. It's looking at you. Um, but the one thing I do notice about this, Pisces, the ocean is there. The ocean is there. And it's very calm. And this person can I help. This person can be a nice dresser too. Can dress nice. Can be something else. Alright. Can feel like they old but always act like they young. Tell me more. Tell me more about you and, and having somebody here tripping. <laughs> yes. Invitation, Pisces. Invitation. Going away. Invited. Uh, anniversary. Moving around. Party. Um, celebration of some sort. All right. You're celebrating something, and this person knows that you're celebrating. This person knows that you're moving on. Maybe you're taking a trip. All right. You're going somewhere with your friends, partying, and having a good old time. Beautiful time. But whatever else that you left behind on that castle has a red flag. This person knows, baby. This person knows that you're moving on. This person can't help it. All right? They know. They feel sorry. But Pisces, I don't know if this person got a, even a chance. Um, And today is 9-11. Celebrating what? The anniversary of that tower moment that came down. But look how we rebuilt. So it tells you that you can be rebuilt in anything that tore you down. That you're celebrating the mid event. Right? That you're celebrating you. That a lot of y'all got these people wanting to come back to y'all. Wanting to rebuild with y'all. But Pisces wanting to offer you life or whatever it is. But Pisces, you're like, man, I, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to get my life. My cup is so I'm throwing, I, I'm going on. All right? And somebody said, but I want you. I want what we had. And you said, yeah, I want it with somebody else. I want to do this somewhere else. It's like a move that you made. You may be moving from your house, moving from an apartment, moving from a place that you lived before um, with a, a child, a younger person. I don't know. Right? But also you can feel this. I feel bad that I'm leaving this, or I feel bad that I'm leaving all of this with you or to handle this. 
But baby, you got the new thing, honey. I must, you need to celebrate your life like you never had before. Because you never know when your day is going to come. How you going to feel bad? Nobody feeling bad for nothing. Live your life. Be happy. Baby, be happy. All right? I don't worry about who, what, that, 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 that. I worry about me, 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 me. Yes, I do. All right? If you're happy here. You're, you, honey, somebody is pumpkins and stuff. November, October. Okay? Somebody here sees you, and this queen tried to come out twice, right? You got, you you don't know what's coming to you, but whatever is coming to you, Pisces, you feel that cat keeps showing up. That cat is showing up. When I look at this card, if, I'm going to say it again. You know what this card remind me of? Jennifer from Familiar Witches Tarot. The strength, the power, the beauty. How she built from scratch. Hey, she lives where it's very hot. All right? She comes from where it was very hot. She has a heart of gold. She's a builder. She's a creator. All right? It's someone and it's something that is bearing down on you from the, from the heavens with this new cup. So it may be that you feel like you tied up, but you, you, it's like we second, like we know what we want to do. We know who we want to give this cup to, but we don't. It's a celebration here. It's major. But then you think about it. You think, you do a lot of thinking. The first card that came out behind that, because I was getting ready to put the deck away, who it shows you. You keep things to yourself. You don't say much. You got more secrets than you can imagine. You keeping all of this to yourself. Because you got choices and you got a decision to need to be made here. Right? But you keeping it to yourself. You're very calm about what you're doing. Remember, you got the Ace of Cup. You got the Hainer Man. And now, you, you, you all up in your reading. You're showing up definitely huge in this reading. Whatever it is, Pisces. Whatever it is to challenge you. Whatever it is that sometimes make you feel like I must win by all meaning, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's no need to worry. All right? You may have to walk away from something that had to be done. And, and guess what? If they think they won, they won. Who gives a fuck? But what you got coming is bigger than what you can lose. That's the thing. What, what the universe got for you is bigger than what you can lose. You got nothing but joy coming. Abundance. It's like you got a feast. You're feasting. You're eating good. You're looking good. All right? And somebody is watching your every fucking move. Right? You may have left a toxic place where you live where it's a lot of violence. All right? Yes. Pisces, this showed up, and this is the only card that came up upwards when it came to the Page of Cups. The Nine of Cups. You are very creative, Pisces. You showing your, you doing your shit. You get what you want. You're happy. You're using your hands. It's like somebody want to cut you. Somebody want to do something to you. And then they want to thank honey. What? What the fuck? What? When you throw me against the wall, when you try to pierce my heart, when you try to have that 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 nasty conversation with me, baby, I come out on top. I come out with the nine of cups, and everybody know the nine of cups. You might as well come out of Pandora box. Yeah, I'm here with everything. It's like opening a box and all this. You know how they shoot. 
the colors when somebody's prepping to see if it's a boy or girl. That's you. Full of colors. Not one color, not two, but many colors. That's you. They can't break you. They can't make you. You are you. You got somebody thinking now. They fucked up. Tell me more. They see that you live in your life. They see that you are celebrating. It's like, I want to marry you. I want to do this with you. And I want Pisces like you. Like what? You're celebrating with someone else. The queen of wants and here I go again. Familiar witches tell you came up into my car yesterday. You coming out again. You got a lot to live for, girl. A lot of love to give. And don't you worry about nothing. Because God is watching over you. Candles. Potions. Flower. This queen of wands came out three times already. You got the potion. The crazy part about it is, Pisces, they may think you very witchy. <laughs> Which means that people are watching me. Which means that people think that I'm very witchy. They say she works with magic. They say she wears black. Even the glasses. Well, I want you to know one thing. I work for God. I work for the light. But anything that comes in front of me, I bring the devil out of your ass. I bet you I will take you out of that zone. I will purify you. And best to believe that. And that's why I go and purify people's bodies and their homes. I do cleansing. Yes. Okay? People pay me to do cleansing to them, to their homes. I'm a doctor in what I do. All right? I don't advertise nothing that ain't real. All right? But Pisces, you may own a cat. You may love cats may have love for cats, may work with um, your ancestors. You like candles. You do herbs. You're around a lot of knives. You believe in working with knives. You believe working with um, nails, like some type of very ancestry. A lot of people may be working with the old Oshas, okay? And if you don't know what there is, it is this, okay? Um, there it is. Okay, you work with that, I work with this man right here, baby. Okay, I'm a healer. I am a healer. You may work with a lot of um, shells, but whatever it is, it's telling you someone here is very huge. All right, and what they do. So, someone here is following instructions with candles, color candles. All right. Someone here is wearing their, um, you know, crystals, working with crystals. I see sunflowers. I see beautiful things, but I definitely see that you got that nine lives. Oh, whoo. Somebody here got nine lives. Somebody here been through a lot. And I mean through a lot. Health-wise. You know, doctors. Yeah, that kind of stuff. You know, operations? Yeah, that kind of stuff. You got nine lives, baby. If you work or you have a cat around you, it represents your lives. It represents your power. You best to believe that shit. And every morning, I open up my eyes. Before I open up my eyes, I see a cat. And it's always black. So I already know. My life is in God's hands.
There's a celebration here. And you have manifested all of this that you're gaining. You are manifesting. You're working. You're definitely doing good. Tell me more about this. You don't need to worry about nothing. You don't need to worry about nobody. Whatever they're doing. You know, you don't you don't need to be the boss. You don't you just need to relax and take a ride on this major journey because someone is seeing how they hurt you, what they did to you, how they talk to you. You know what I mean? Like it they really looking at it with that five of swords. They they might have thought they won everything, but everything ain't winning. Winning ain't everything. You got the five of pinnacles with saying you're counting your money. Pass through, you probably, I don't know, somebody probably feel like, all right, well, now what do I do? I got bills to be paid. Some bills are passed through. How am I going to pay this? Right? Somebody stressing because somebody knows, you know, they fucking up. But winning ain't everything. Okay? Somebody knows, honey, somebody's counting their money. Somebody's going through their banking account. All right. Somebody feel like they're being left out. But somebody more than anything feel like they are not moving with their money. Maybe due to an argument, a fight, or something here, a move, whatever it was. You 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 got everything here. You got all the paperwork. All right. You you doing big things. The universe is keeping an eye on you. It's giving you something bigger than you can imagine. You got to come out of this. You know that what you see. You know how to make that movie. You need to make it. Somebody here may be feeling like also like, you know, how can I move from this? How can I make a decision? Am I making the right decision? If I do, would it cost me my money? Would it cost me to lose out on something here? Somebody can be feeling like, you know, I'm going to be missing out on this, right? Or what's going to happen to me? If I make this decision. Pisces. The middle of your car reading. It is the four wands. Happiness. Enjoyment. Celebration. Weddings. Accomplish. Okay. Four walls. Four wands. Standing up strong. Remember you can rebuild anything that's torn down. All right. But there's a red flag in the back of this. So it's also telling you to be careful of that castle, of that house, of that place that you're going to be celebrating or wanting to go somewhere. You got to be careful of a home or places you go to and who you go with, you know, because you never know. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. Get it from familiar, which is tell my sister or her daughter. I will link up her daughter's um, page. I love you. I think the world of you, and I know that you can get out anything, but you must think before. Do not get in an argument with people. Do not feel like you got to be right all the time. Let that shit go. Life is better than what it is. Don't fuck your money up because you want to argue or you want to make a point. Don't fuck it up. Keep moving. It's not about winning. It's about getting it together. You got so much to be offered. Don't fuck it up. I'll talk to you later, Pisces. One love. Never say it. Go in peace. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye.